Hey YouTubers, today we have a GE washer that won't spin. We're just gonna be switching out this really inexpensive part you can get from Amazon. That's a lid sensor, and this will only take you just a couple of minutes to do, very easy. First thing to try if it isn't spinning is this simple reset. Maybe you can pause the video and then try the reset. We have a GE washer that won't go to spin, so we're gonna be changing out the door sensor. <clears throat> we got it unplugged. We're gonna use a paint scraper to pry off the front panel. We're gonna remove this center panel. It has two Phillips head screws. We're gonna pry out that front panel. We're gonna take out these two screws so we can get the top panel up. We're gonna push in with our screwdriver to get this lid sensor out. We pushed in on that little tab to get it out, push it back in. These orange wires are probably where the brake occurred. So we have to splice in the new sensor to those wires, put it back in, add the screws back, put the front panel back on, click it in. And then when we start it, you notice that we get the lid lock light clicks on. And that means that we did the right job. Here again is that simple reset to do after you install the lid switch.